Hello everyone, my name is Alejandra Corbat. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, no Power Query. <laughs> today we are going to see a function in Excel. Uh, I really want to share this with you because I find it very useful. So I hope you find it useful as well. Here I have some information related to some items. I have some item numbers. I have cost, sales, and discount. You can see all of this information is not sorted at all by any means, but Let's say from this list, I'm going to bring the first 10 rows. Well, from this information, let's say I'm going to bring the first 10 rows. So here I'm going to go to my column F and I'm going to say equal tick. This function is available in Microsoft 365. I'm going to open parentheses and this is uh, it's asking me for an array. So I'm going to select all this information, Control Shift down to go to select up to the end of this um, uh, range, let's say. And I'm going to press comma. Now it's asking me for the rows. How many rows do I want to bring? How many rows do I want to take from this information, from my array? Well, I want to bring 10. So I'm going to bring 10 rows, comma. How many column, columns do I want to take from that array to bring it here? Well, I'm going to say I want three columns. So I'm going to close parentheses and I'm going to press it. This is a dynamic array. As you can see, the blue board, that means where the that array is spilling that information. But remember that the formula lives only in this cell F3. Everything else is grayed out. Okay, you, if you try to delete, you cannot delete it at all. You, if you want to delete this, you need to go where the uh, formula lives. So, uh, so delete that and delete everything else. So I'm going to press Control Z to undo what I did. And now that you can see how nicely it brings the information for the first 10 lines. Let's say, oh, I don't want the first 10 lines. I want to bring the last 10 lines. And uh, let's say I want to bring all of these ones right here, right? So we have 5,457 in the first cell with the cost amount, and it's for the product back 6478503. Okay, well, I can go back to my cell F3, and instead of asking for 10 rows, I'm going to say minus 10. I'm going to press Enter, and here we have that information from the last 10 rows. A negative number, if I provide that, that information here, the negative number will bring the last lines. The positive number will bring the first lines. Excellent. Well, that looks very nice. How can I sort this information? Well, we can mix this with the sort function. I'm going to say equal sort, open parenthesis, and it's asking me for the array. The array will be the result of my function take. So I'm going to, and actually, I'm going to go back here. So sort, open parenthesis, my array, my array is the result of my function take, comma. I need to provide the sort index. Which column do I want to use to sort my information? Let's say I want to use the column cost to sort this information. That is column two, right? So item is column one. Cost is column two, and invoice is column three. That I actually should say sales. I can change it later. So, so I want to sort this information for the uh, second column. So I'm going to press two. That will be my sort index, comma. And I want to sort this in ascending order. The order that is the default. Or if I want to sort it by descending order, I need to provide the minus. One. So I'm going to say minus one. Remember, this is an optional parameter. So I'm going to say minus one. And I don't want to do anything with the column. I'm just going to close parentheses and I'm going to press enter. Now you can see that the information has been sorted by column two in descending order. Let's say, oh no, I don't want to sort in this way. And what I want is sort my source first and then grab the first 10 lines. Okay. Let's do that here. But before we do that, let me change this to sales and control C and I'm going to go here and enter. See yeah? it? Okay. So once I'm here, what I'm going to do now is equals sort open, paren open parenthesis and it's going to ask me for an array. Let's go back here, select our source of information up to the end 
of this uh, range. I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna provide the comma. What is gonna be my sort index again? Well, the column that I want to sort by, let's say, is gonna be column two, right? Again, comma. Do I want this in ascending or descending order? Let's say, again, descending, minus one, and that's it. Um, I press enter. Okay, so I'm sorting everything here. My array is the full range. That's okay, because that's why we're gonna use the take function. So after the equal, right here, I'm gonna say, take, open parenthesis, it's gonna ask me for an array. The array is the result of my array sort, of the my function sort. I'm gonna go to the end, I'm gonna uh, press comma, and it's gonna ask me how many rows do I want to keep. I want to take 10 rows from this uh, array, comma, how many columns? And here is what I'm gonna say, I just want to keep three columns. I'm gonna close parenthesis and I'm gonna press enter. And that is how I can sort my source first, and then take the first 10 lines of that uh, result. Let's say I don't want the first 10, I want the, the, the last 10. Well, I can go and change that for a minus. Okay, and I press enter. And now here we have the last 10 lines, three columns for, from the source. Very easy, very useful, and I hope you like it. The only thing is that it's only available in Microsoft 365. I hope you found this information useful. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also, share with anybody that you believe can benefit from it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.